Creating a standout portfolio as a 3D artist involves showcasing not just your best work, but also demonstrating unique skills, versatility, and ability to handle projects relevant to your industry niche. In this video, I'm gonna give you five top tips for creating a really solid portfolio as a 3D artist. Let's go. Number one, quality of a quantity. Your portfolio should be a collection of your best work, not everything you've ever created. So focus on showcasing pieces that demonstrate your highest skill level and your range as an artist. This means selecting projects that highlight your strength, whether it's character modeling, environment design, texturing, lighting, animation, whatever. High quality polished pieces will always make a stronger impression than a larger number of less impressive work. You also should keep your folio up to date and nuke any old stuff that becomes irrelevant or outdated in terms of your skills. Think of your portfolio as a business card. Let's say you have a phone number over there, you don't want it to be outdated, so just remove it or replace it. Again, your portfolio should be always up to date. Now, if you're completely new and you have, let's say, one or two renders, then pick the best one. It is it's better to have only one work that is really good than diluting your folio with some lower quality work. Number two, diversity and focus. While specializing in a certain area like game art, ArcVis, character design, whatnot, can be beneficial, showing some variety in your work can illustrate your versatility. However, the key is to balance diversity with a clear focus. In other words, your portfolio should make it very clear what is your specialty, even while it demonstrates your ability to handle a range of projects. For example, if your focus is on character design, you might still show a few pieces that showcase your environmental modeling skills to demonstrate your versatility. So characters placed in an environmental setting, etc. Too much diversity though, or renders from completely non-related areas of your focus will confuse whoever is looking at your folio. Always remember that people who look for potential artists to hire will search for a very specific type of work. The more focused you are, the better your chances to get hired and and also the more money you can charge. So having a narrow niche is what you should aim for. Look at my folio, for example, I even state at the very top, sci-fi or nothing. That is all I do. And I go even deeper since I only model hard surface. So it's only sci-fi hard surface. That is sending a very strong message to whoever is looking at my folio. Number three, process documentation, including shots of work in progress, so whips or breakdowns of your projects can be incredibly valuable. They provide insight to your creative process, your problem solving abilities, and your attention to details. This can include sketches, wireframes, texturing and lighting layers and before and after shots, etc. Process documentation helps potential employers or clients to understand how you approach a project from conception to a final output. It also shows that you are thorough and make sure your final deliver is well polished. Number four, personal projects. Including personal projects alongside commissioned or job related work can highlight your passion for 3D art, your creativity, your ability to self direct. Personal projects often allow for more creativity and risk taking than client work, showing off your skills, range and style without any constraints. They can make your portfolio stand out by adding a unique value to your collection. In addition, personal projects prove that you are willing to invest time in self-development outside paid projects, which is highly sought after personal trait in any professional environment. It shows drive, dedication, and also flexibility. And lastly, number five, presentation and accessibility. How you present your work is almost as important as the work itself. A well-designed, easy-to-navigate portfolio website can make a big difference. Now, my suggestion here is that images posted online should be preferably not longer than 2048 pixels on the longest edge. And if you're gonna resize them, like for Instagram, for example, they should be properly sharpened. Ensure that your site is clean, professional, and mobile responsive. High-quality images and videos are a must, and each piece 
piece should be accompanied with a brief description that includes your role, the tools used and any relevant project details. Additionally, your contact information should be easy to find and portfolio should be easy to share or download if needed. Now, I'm not a great fan of folios on Instagram due to the image ratio, which is mostly one to one. It's extremely difficult to frame something of such a boring format. I would highly recommend running folios on sites like ArtStation, which is a go-to place to find artists for many professionals who are hiring people. So to wrap it up, here is what I suggest. Post only the best shit you've got. Niche the fuck down, but keep an open mind. Showcase a variety of your skills via paid or personal projects. Keep your portfolio up to date and make sure that your folio looks as good as a hot, juicy ass in a Brazilian bikini on a beach in Rio during mating season. Good luck.